What's going on everybody? This is Justin, the Flippy Accountant. Thank you for joining me here on my channel. Uh, if this is your first time coming to my channel, my name is uh, Justin and I am a CPA, a part-time reseller on Amazon and eBay. I also do several different side gigs, including uh, renting out a room on Airbnb, not so much right now. I also design and sell t-shirts on Merch by Amazon, and I also sell products locally on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and stuff like that. So this video is about all of these blue movies and movies that you see right behind me. What happened was I was going on a trip to another state to see some family members and on my way I stopped at one of my favorite liquidation stores and they had two huge bins of all of this media right here and I was like wow that's that's a lot of stuff it's all brand new it's all sealed and I started to look through it and the store manager came by and he's like yeah he's like we got a lot of it right now so he said we're doing 80% off uh, all of this stuff here and uh, normally, normally when they bring stuff out like that, it's normally like 50, 40 percent off, 50 percent off retail. Uh, but he's like, we'll do 80 percent off all of this stuff here. And I started to look through it, and I said, well, what if I just buy it all? And he was kind of surprised, and uh, he's like, well, what are you thinking? And I said, oh, I don't know, I'll give you a hundred bucks, you know, just kind of lowballing, just you know, just testing the waters. And he was like, no, no, no. And I was like, well, all right, yeah, 200, 200 is fine for all that stuff. I, I had no idea how much was in there. He's like, no, no, the, the most, you know, the, the, the least I could do for all of this stuff would be about 400 bucks. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I guess I could do that. Um, uh, you know, you, you kind of got me here, but, uh, you know, and inside, I'm just super excited about it because I'm just like, yeah, this is, this is an amazing deal. These are all brand new. There's tons of Blu-rays, tons of movies. There were some video games as well. They're not here in the picture. I've already got them listed, but there was just a ton of stuff. Part of my problem was I was on a road trip to somewhere else and my vehicle couldn't hold all of this stuff. So what I did was I took all of the high value stuff, the Blu-rays, the 4Ks, and the video games and I bagged those up and I put those in my vehicle. And then I talked to the store manager and he said that I could box up the rest and leave my name on it and that they would be there when I came back. Uh, I didn't know when it was gonna come back. I knew it was gonna be a week or a couple weeks later and I was like, well, I'll just take a chance on it. So everything else was boxed up. I had nine or ten more big boxes of DVDs and Blu-rays and CDs and all of this stuff. And I put my name on it, put my phone number on it. And then everything, all this craziness kind of happened with uh, the coronavirus and everything shutting down. So I didn't make it back uh, until a couple weeks later. And they still had all my stuff. They had everything put aside. I was very, you know, very pleased with all of that. So I ended up getting all this stuff home. It took a little longer than expected, but um, this is just a chunk of it. I still have eight or nine boxes in my garage. I have a ton to go through. This is just uh, what I've got set out here for the video. So just to kind of give you an idea, what's here in this video, there's about 200 CDs stacked up. These are all brand new, sealed. Uh, there's all sorts of different stuff. There's new releases. There's rock, rap, Christian, soundtracks, all sorts of stuff like that. There's about 150 DVDs here, kind of mixed throughout. I think I've got 20 copies of Avengers Endgame right here. If you know anybody that needs a copy of Avengers Endgame. There's about 150 Blu-rays in here as well, just kind of mixed throughout here in the middle. These are all brand new and sealed. I've got some of the higher value ones here up front just to give you an example. So this is all just kind of mixed and I'm gonna go through it and sort them and figure out what I have in total. So all together with all of the boxes I have in my garage, the stuff I have displayed here, I figure I've got about 1,500 units of media total throughout this whole deal here. So probably about 500 CDs, seven to 850 ish uh, DVDs, because there's a lot of them. Blu-rays is about 200, and that's kind of mixed in of uh, Blu-rays. And there are, you know, there's there's a small portion of 4Ks as well, which is nice because those will bring a little bit more money. And then uh, there was uh, about 50 video games that was kind of mixed through in, um, mixed in. There was Xbox 360, PS4, Xbox One, 
there's a few Switch games. Um, all that stuff is already listed for sale. So just to uh, kind of break it down for you, so with about 1,500 units, I paid $400 total for all of this stuff, which breaks down to about 27 cents a unit. 26.6, uh, .6, but we'll just say 27. Or I mean, you could almost say a quarter a piece for rounding. There was, there was just a lot of mixed stuff here, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays. I'm thinking that the higher value stuff is gonna, you know, bring up the average. And a lot of the smaller stuff, the CDs and stuff like that, I'll probably just have to, you know, lot up and, and sell. But um, I just wanted to talk about some of the, the better examples that I've got and my strategy for selling it. So there was several movies that there was a bunch of copies of, like Rocket Man here, this new movie about Elton John. I believe there was uh, 10 copies of these. These are brand new, Blu-ray sealed with the slip cover. This one doesn't have it, but it's, it's over there. And I'm gonna put up the Amazon listing here. And part of my problem right now is that I can't sell Blu-rays and DVDs on Amazon. So I'll have to look for other avenues to sell these, but that's not a problem. I'm not worried about that at all. So 10 of these at about 20 bucks a piece, there's $200 worth. I also have 10 of these How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, Blu-ray, DVD combo, brand new sealed. I'll put up the Amazon listing here for you just to show you. These are selling for about 10 bucks a piece. You know, 10 of those, there's another 100 bucks. We're up to 300 so far. So the one that I was really excited about was this Aladdin 4K, 4K Blu-ray plus digital code. It's a Target exclusive, and it's uh, I think it's I don't think it's a steel steel box or a steel case, but it does have um, filmmaker gallery book inside of it. So there's the 4K and the Blu-ray combo in here. So I have about 15 of those, and at 20 bucks a piece, that's about another $300 worth and you know 600 bucks that'll pay for everything and that's just on those three high value movies and then i have all of this stuff left to sell so like i said i can't sell those on amazon but i have other ways of selling blu-rays and i'm going to talk about that as well so what is my plan for selling all of this stuff there is a ridiculous amount of media here and i don't want to sit on it forever and 400 bucks is you know it's I don't want it to just sit there. These DVDs and movies aren't gonna do me any good just sitting around. So let me tell you about my uh, strategy. So I'm gonna start by organizing everything into category, condition, and uh, genre, I guess. So everything's gonna be separated by CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, video games, and then I'll just kind of assess from there. The video games have already been sorted and listed on Amazon, so those are already taken care of. The CDs, there's a lot of those as well, so I'm gonna to try to sort those as best that I can. The Blu-rays, I'm gonna sort those. I'll probably put those, um, put the multiples together and then probably sort them by genre or by studio. Just try to put like, you know, Disney movies or family movies in one stack and then horror movies and other movies like that uh, off to the side, just so I can get a, a better grip on, on what I've got here. Most of these are individual movies. There are some different sets included like uh, Gotham is in here. There's a few other shows that there's some seasons of, but most of it are just like brand new movies. Luckily, there are some other higher higher value Blu-rays mixed in. We've got uh, Lion King on 4K plus Blu-ray digital, digital code. There's a few Star Wars movies mixed in. These are, you know, 10 to 20 bucks a piece. Blu-ray combos. Um, that one's Blu-ray DVD. This one's just Blu-ray digital. So... Luckily, you know, I've got some higher value stuff that's gonna make it very worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and organize everything. Then I'm gonna look at the difference between selling on eBay or Amazon, because like I said, right now I can't currently sell media on Amazon, but I can on eBay. I also have a few websites or friends that I can sell or consign my media through that can sell on Amazon. Generally, what they do is they take about a 50-50 cut. So I'm going to kind of look and assess and figure out if it's worth it for me to, say, sell The Lion King on eBay at a lower price, or if it would be worth it to make a whole bunch of DVDs and send to a friend of mine and essentially get half of the retail. Prices on Amazon are generally higher than eBay. 
but I can't sell on Amazon. So it's, you know, it's, it's kind of six and one half dozen in the other. So I'm going to look at my different options. So higher value ones are either going to go to eBay or I'm going to consign with uh, people to sell them uh, on Amazon for me. Uh, also, I will also take some of the DVDs and CDs, probably a lot of the CDs and trade them in locally. I like to use different local trade-in stores because they're always buying. They give you trade credit. They usually give you a bonus on trade credit and then I can turn around and buy stuff from their stores and turn around and sell it on Amazon. So although I might not be able to sell Star Wars on Amazon, I could turn around, trade it in for a couple bucks and you know stack a whole bunch of credit and then buy some toys or video games that I can sell on Amazon and usually get those for a better deal and make some money that way. So, so that's just a just another strategy so I can trade it into different local trade in places. Also, some of the stuff might be traded into Declutter, which is an online trade in platform if you've never heard of it before. Uh, I use that a lot for my lower value CDs, DVDs, kind of a kind of junk stuff. They pay cash, they have an app that you can pull up. It's free to download. I'll include a, a, an affiliate link down below if you want to sign up and check it out. Uh, if you sign up using my link, I think I get $5 and you get $5. Um, it's an it's a easy way to get started. If you don't want to, that's fine, not a problem. I'm just going to put it there. Anyways, I've used it before. I made a couple boxes of CDs and scanned them in. with the, You just scan the barcode, it tells you the value, and then you just kind of add it to your order and then they do a prepaid shipping label and then you ship it in and then once they've processed everything they pay you out and i believe i got paid through paypal so pretty easy way to sell some of that stuff and um like i said i use it for lower value stuff because the higher value stuff they're not going to give you a whole lot for uh brand new dvds and blu-rays and stuff like that they're only going to like max give you a few dollars for them. care for condition on there. I don't think you actually select the condition. So I'm not going to send them a whole bunch of brand new Blu-rays if I'm only going to get two bucks a piece if I would get the same price for a used Blu-ray, um, you know, in worse condition. So my lower condition, lower value stuff will probably go to declutter um, that I didn't trade into another store. So that's another way to trade in stuff is um, uh, through declutter. I'm also going to use Facebook Marketplace to try to get rid of some of this stuff. I'll make bigger lots, uh, bigger bundles. You know, I could say like family Disney movies, you know, five brand new movies for, you know, 30 bucks or something like that. And there's always local people looking for stuff like that. And right now might be a better time for that just because with stores having reduced hours and things are closing and um, people still are, you know, gonna be wanting to watch movies, they're still gonna wanna pay a lower price, and everybody's, you know, kinda pinching their pennies right now, which rightfully so, but um, people still wanna buy stuff, and people still wanna sell stuff, and there's ways you can make that contactless, you know, you can accept digital payments, you can do PayPal, Cash App, or you can just say, leave the money underneath the uh, doormat, and I'll leave the movie outside, if you're uh, trustworthy, or if you have a camera, you know, stuff like that. Stuff like this happens we just have to adapt and just go with it so that's another way I'm gonna um, sell some of this stuff I also plan on uh, selling stuff that doesn't sell on declutter or through my local trade-in I'll just make bigger lots on eBay and I'll just do like an auction and just blow them out that way and it's a good way because um, media mail is cheap doesn't cost much to ship that kind of stuff and that's about it so those are my different strategies. Those are my different plans for selling this stuff. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas or if you would do something differently, let me know. Uh, I'm always open to new ideas. I'm always open to trying something different, you know, trying to improve my business. I'm trying to share my strategies because maybe I can teach you about something that you've never heard of or something that's uh, something your brain goes, oh, hey, that's a good idea. Maybe I could try that. So anyways, this is... Um, this is what we've got going on. Um, I might do an update video some other time just to kind of show how everything went and um, let you guys. That's, uh, that's about it. So let me know if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this video, you know, like, comment, subscribe, leave a message down below if you have any other ideas for videos that you'd like to see or if you want to talk more about reselling strategies or side gigs and hustles and stuff like that. And um, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.